Please state, please state your name for the folks at home. <clears throat> Dave Carr. Hey, Dave. Can you uh, recreate exactly what you looked like when I first came out to talk to the ladies and gentlemen? You know what I'm talking about. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking, everybody. Craig, this could be someone with a legitimate eye complaint. <laughs> it could be, or Dave could be a douche. <laughs> <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> why, why did you do that? Why do you turn your back on people when you move your glasses around? <clears throat> No, I think, I think you should take them off, because you've got lovely peepers. Well, thank you, sir. And your eyes are nice, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell me, Dave, why were you wearing your sunglasses indoors? <clears throat> the, uh, the bright lights of the studio were glaring in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is bright to you. Yeah. I don't live get out in, much. No, I was going to say, I was, do you live in Alaska <laughs> six months of the year? <laughs> Three. <laughs> so, what do you do, Dave, in Chicago? <clears throat> I'm a teacher. Really? What do you teach? History. Really? Yes. What, what type of history? What area? <clears throat> what area? Uh, ancient history. Really? In a time when people would brave the outdoors with no sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> So, Dave, you're on vacation in Southern California. I am indeed. How's it going? Good until now. <laughs> no, man, you've got to remember, now that you've talked on TV, Union Real Estate, you get about 40 bucks, I think. So. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I will too. <laughs> Dave from Chicago, everybody. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Hmm, attractive young people should appeal to the young demographic. <laughs> Please state your names. I'm Stephen. You're Stephen, are you? Yep. And? Natalia. How do you know each other? We're married. You're married? <laughs> See, it's not over with. <laughs> when did you get married? Uh, a week ago. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> Oh. First time for both of you, is it? <laughs> yeah. It's a fair question. <laughs> We're in Hollywood. It's a fair question. <laughs> well, uh, good luck to you kids and congratulations. I've got to ask you, though, if you've been married just a week, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Montreal. You too? Yeah, well, we're both from Vancouver. We got married in Vancouver, but we live in Montreal. That's in Canada, you know. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, it's in Canada. You didn't know? No, I, I thought it was in the States. <laughs> I got some very bad news. So, <laughs> so, let's see, you're from Canada. You just got married, which would imply that there's probably going to be more Canadians. <laughs> We need more. <laughs> no, no, I think you're doing fine. Dude, I don't want to say anything, but you've got one of those beards and you don't have a moustache. <laughs> and when I say I don't want to say anything, that's exactly the opposite of why I said that. <laughs> but I'm kind of concerned, because it, it's a choice which... I, are you okay with this? Beard without moustache? I'm okay with it. You can't do much about it. <laughs> oh, you are so wrong, girl. <laughs> No, baby. You got the dee 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 Yeah, you can have them Primpton any way you want. You can, you can have him grow nipples on his feet if you want. Thanks. All right. So, did you have the beard without the moustache for the wedding? I did. We had really good photographers. I, th <laughs> I thought it was something you were putting together for the Smurf movie coming out. <laughs> It's just a joke. I'm just joshing with a kid. He's Canadian. He can take a joke. <laughs> so, Montreal, I'm going there soon. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the show. You want to come? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I can get you a discount. I can get you in for nothing. For nothing? No way. Yeah, way. <laughs> so, that's, that's about it then. Uh, you want to, you wanna, uh, you're young, attractive people. Um, you, what you do is throw to the commercial break and, you know, people will be more inclined to buy things from you than they would be from a creepy old loner like me. 
<laughs> you got scared there when I leaned in, didn't you? You were like, I know, you were like protect me, and he was like, oh, oh no, I got the beard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so just all you have to do is just uh, source of the commercial break. Let her do it, man. Okay. Yeah. Good advice. All right, just you know, just you know, I've been married three times, man. I know how to do it. All right. <laughs> all right, so uh, let her throw the commercial break. Here we go. <laughs> Your first name and your first name only for the folks at home. Marianne. Marianne. Lindsay. Lindsay. Emma. Emma. You're adorable. Sarah. Sarah. Marianne, Lindsay, Emma, and Sarah. Everybody here over 18? Yeah. I'm not singling anyone out. <laughs> Do you get carded a lot? Yeah. But you're, you're 19, right? Yeah. All right. You look very young. I know. Does that annoy you? No. It's actually something that I wish I did. <laughs> you know, look younger. <laughs> I'm going to have to move away from here because uh, I've crossed the line of being exceedingly creepy when I stand next to you. <laughs> but ladies, you are from four different countries across the wide and magnificent planet on which we inhabit. Are you not? Yeah. Yes. I have the flags here which represent your countries. The flag of Australia goes to you. The flag of uh, Sweden goes to you. Oh. <laughs> See, that's why. The flag of the United States. <laughs> Thanks. And I'm not familiar with this. It's a joke! that you are from Canada. Oh, don't get all huffy with me, you know. I, it's only a joke. So, ladies, I'd like to thank you for coming along here. Now, this is a, this is a first. Great. This is the entire lesbian row have come to stand up here tonight. Now, here's the problem. I don't think any of these girls are lesbians. <laughs> Look. I'll let it go tonight, saying you brought your kid. But... I got called her mother today. You got called her mother today? Does that make you cross? Angry, I mean? It's a word we use in America. It's a bit weird being it, it is Australian a... and Swedish. Australian and Swedish? How does that work? Well, you enjoy uh, assembling furniture while drunk. <laughs> to the show, ladies. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Paris, France, where we've got one of the most sophisticated and elegant studios in all of Paris. Are you having a nice time here, Jeff? We oui. Touch my glittery ball. Thank you. All right. Do we have any guests? Who's the, who's the first guest on the show? Anyone want to be on an American talk show? Anybody. Anybody. Please. It's, it's not cable. It's actual broadcast. All right. Come on, then. Come on over. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm Misty. Nice to meet you. Hi, Misty. Come and sit down. Do we have a microphone or something so I can talk to Misty? Do you got a microphone? Moose, give me a microphone, for God's sakes. Moose, right, Moose sit there. This is Moose. Don't worry about him. He's a French sound man. All right. You ready? Sorry. That's all right. Put that. Now, be careful where you put this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm only kidding. All right. Uh -huh. Hi. Uh, is the sound all right? All right. Hi, Misty. Where are you from? I'm from Texas. Texas? Really? What are you doing in Paris, France? I am celebrating my 30th birthday. Really? I would have said about 22, wouldn't you? Oh, Jeff? yeah. 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 Really? Now, are you here on your own or with family members or with someone? Just my husband. Oh, that's lovely. And did We you left our baby. You left your baby where? At home. Oh, you know where it is then? Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, where that's it is. all right, yeah. And are you, did you put a lock on the bridge? I did, just now. That's nice. Isn't that a lovely thing? It's nice. Oh, it's lovely. For, no, it's all right. You can come on through. Yeah, no, it's cool. Hi. Oh, bonjour. Hi. Is your husband here? Yes, he where is. is he but then? we're, oh, hi, honey. Hey, come on in. Come on in. Come around the back. Moose, to see if you can just, like, don't mind Moose. He's a French sound man. A, so come in uh, here, Moose, and stick your microphone up in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> see right there? Yeah. <laughs> it's on yeah, you. Got it's right on, man. 
Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, good. Thanks. Pleasure. You guys having a nice time? We're having a great time. It's our first day. We're jet lagged. We flew oh, in last really? night, and we're just trying to power through Isn't the day. Jet lag weird. Yeah. You know, like you wake up like at five o'clock in the morning, and you want to have dinner, and then you want to have sex. <laughs> In your pants. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> so, well, listen, uh, thank you for joining us. I hope you have a fantastic holiday. And remember, when you're abroad, you're ambassadors for America, so behave yourself. All right, then. All right. What's, what's your name again? Greg. Greg Stagnoni. Greg and Misty. Misty. Greg and Misty from Texas. Greg and Misty, everybody. Come on. Thank Greg you. and Misty. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. It was lovely to see you. Thanks for being on. It's very nice to meet you. Have a great vacation, Appreciate you guys. It. Thank you for being so nice. Bye-bye. All right, then. That worked out. That worked out pretty good, didn't it? They were worked? lovely. Do you know what's really interesting? When the sun shines, it's actually quite pleasant to do this. It is. I like this better than working in a studio. We should do this in California. The sun shines in California all the time. Well, it's better lighting than the studio. <laughs> yeah, but what I was thinking is, what if we did do it all the time, then you might get sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? See what I did? I don't have skin, you jerk. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's alright. It's alright, you can go through. It's cool. No, alright then, fine. Alright, you wanna do a... Alright, I'll get to you, I'll get to you. This is awful, isn't it? It really is. They try and rush you through everything. It's alright, you can go through it. It's okay. Absolutely. Come Thank ahead. Thank you, I beg your pardon. It's alright. No, oh, no, it's okay. Bonjour. Je vous en prie. When do you say bonsoir? Is that in the evening? No, uh, I think you say bonsoir when uh, when you're uh, yeah it's the evening that's yeah it's the evening yeah Get bon it. Soir. bon soir bon soir bon soir <laughs> see what you did <laughs> hey. yeah, yeah, oh god yeah. i hate you i'm glad you. we brought this people seem to like it it's really classy it is classy it's not offensive at all i don't think they <laughs> no <laughs> you think it's offensive not at all it's not offensive what, do you find the sunlight very bright in your eyes it really is killing yeah, me it's really hurting me well we have both got blue eyes yeah, we yeah. do. Hey, do you want to put a padlock on the bridge? I would love to. Well, on you go then. Just put your name on it, though. You can't put my name on it. Can you give me a push? I can't. I need to get over to where the locks are. <laughs> could you? Could you help me out? No, no. I, uh, you're just gonna have to stay there. God. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, go. <laughs> All right. Please welcome to the show now some other people in Paris. Come on, Jeff. Hey. Hello. Hi, everybody. Come around here. Okay. Come Hi. around here and sit Hi. down. Moose, bring your furry probe in. Hi, everybody. Hi. Come on. Sit. Right. Wait a minute. You have to wait until Moose can hear you. Do you want to go underneath or up through the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the man. Yeah, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm the double on tone. Yeah. Guy. All right. Hi. Who are you? Hi. My name's Christian. Christian? Christian. Nice to meet you, Christian. Is this your family? Oh, no, these are my students. Oh, students. Hi. 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 I'm Sarah. Sarah, nice to meet you. And you are? I'm Nina. Nina, nice to meet you. Lilo. Lilo. Hi, I'm Leo. L Liam? Leo. Leo. Leo, nice to meet you. And you're a teacher and these are your students? Oh, yeah, I'm a French teacher. You're a French teacher? Yeah. And uh, your students are from? Germany. Oh, are you from Germany? I'm from Germany too, yeah. And are you guys, you guys are teenagers then, are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Do, do, are they, oh, hang on a minute, my flaps come up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you, uh, you're teenagers, are you on the Facebook and the Twitter and stuff? Yeah, Facebook. Oh, yeah. yeah, and do you like the, the Jonas Brothers? No. No. <laughs> Whoa, what that's show no business, huh? Yeah, way to stay current. Oh, wow, yeah, I didn't know. I thought it was still the Jonas Brothers. No. So what is it now then? Is it uh, the uh, Rebecca Black? They don't even know about Rebecca Black. <laughs> what, is wrong with what the you? hell? So what are the kids into now then? <laughs> Musically. Do, do you like yeah. the Edith Piaf? <laughs> the Edith Piaf? Do you like, do you like the Edith Piaf? Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, French music and French uh, chansons and oh. um, Bavarian Volksmusik. Wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Is my Folk accent music. difficult for you? No, 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 no problem. No, it's easy? It's easy. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to Scotland before? No, no, no. never. It's a very, uh, very interesting place. The accents are very difficult, very difficult. I don't understand half of what they say. That's all right, they're fine, they can go through, it's all right. Um, well, I think that's uh, all we have time for. Uh, we have to take a commercial break. You ready, Jeff? Yeah. Join us after these messages. The lovely students from Germany with their teacher, everybody. Well done, kids.
You all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sarah, everybody. It's uh, she's our, our new intern here. It's her second day. Wait, 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 wait. You can't give her a round of applause every two days. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Sarah, what did you get to do on your second day at the show? Um, I opened fan mail. Thank you. Anything interesting in the fan mail today, Sarah? Well, I only opened one. Oh, that's more than we usually get. <laughs> what was in it? Um, not a letter, or a letter and then some. <laughs> what, did you, were you frightened? Did you step back and duck and roll? Uh, no, actually, I did all right. Another intern ran. I, I stayed seated. <laughs> Another intern ran? <laughs> Find me this intern. <laughs> Find me this intern and bring them to me. <laughs> so you are the brave intern. <laughs> I see. Well, as one of the interns, ooh la la, the bed. <laughs> but did it, now, in the letter where the, you, the harmless white powder was contained. Yes. <laughs> did it mention my new haircut? It did not. Well, it can't be that, then. I don't know. So, look, I hope this doesn't colour your opinion of being an intern here. Usually it's quite a safe job. Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Where are you studying? Uh, Arizona State University. Right, and uh, what, what are you studying? Uh, film and media studies and screenwriting. Mm, you might want to throw a bit of chemistry in there, too. <laughs> Not my strong suit. No, well, apparently not. No. When you see a powder that looks like anthrax, you stay exactly where you are. Well, I did get it on me, so... You did? You got it on you? Yeah. Did you taste it? I did not. Everyone was saying that afterwards, though. Did they? Yeah. Well, that's what they do when they get find drugs. They go, mm, cocaine. That was my first thought, but I thought it. You thought it was cocaine? Yeah. Really? That was my first thought. If that happens again, bring it directly to my <laughs> arm. Will do. <laughs> Sarah, we have to take a commercial break, but I'd like to commend you for your bravery in the face of horrifying powdered <laughs> conditions. <laughs> and we'll find that other intern. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Sure. All right. We'll be right back. Everybody. Intern Sarah Lynn. Where, where is he? Come on out. Hi, son. Come on out. <laughs> Hey, how are you, youngin? I'm good. Take a seat. Hey, I'm, I'm just about to do the emails, but I thought I'd ask you. Uh, it's Jason, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Jason. How long have you been here, Jason? Um, probably about four months. About four months now, yeah. He needs the hand mic. Oh, what? Uh, oh, oh. You, you didn't put a microphone on him? Oh, that was smart. <laughs> All right. you. You've been here about four months, Jason. Four months, yep. Yeah, and you, uh, you were there today when the anthrax was discovered. I was. I was sitting right next to it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what kind of action did you take, Jason? Uh, well, apparently one of the interns other interns decided that I uh, ran, but what Is I actually Is that normal did, happened? Not exactly. That bitch is trying to destroy you! <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I decided that maybe somebody should go get an adult or a figure that could possibly help. <laughs> Learn from the best. You did the right, you did the right thing. <laughs> Nobody's angry at you. Nobody is angry at you. You did okay. Uh, no, did you get a fright? You all right? Um, a little bit. All right. My heart, you know, yeah, sped yeah. up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that just now when you didn't have a microphone on? That's why I yeah. me. Yeah. Well, anyway, look, I've got to press on with the show. It's not much, but it's all I have, so bugger off. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, nice, really. <laughs> See, I have a problem, Jason and Sarah, if that is your real names. <laughs> somebody opened the anthrax letter and somebody ran away. Now, I don't have a problem with that. I love you guys. I want to get you coffee and I want to be nice to you, but my partner, GP, he'll kill you. <laughs> I'm looking at you, too. Yeah! You, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, this is just a hackneyed old good cop, bad cop routine to scare us. Well, you're wrong. I really do like you, and he will. I'll kill you, Yeah, bro. you really can. I'll eat you alive. I, no, yeah, yeah. You. I tell you, if, if he could get more than 12 foot from an outlet, you'd be dead by now. Oh, now you pissed me off. Uh, now you pissed him off. Uh, let's go over it one more time. 
The letter arrives. It's right there. Who opens it? I do. Uh-huh. What happens? Uh, stuff spills out on me. What happens? Well, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed that she was going like this with her hand, and so I asked if there was anything wrong or you had gotten anything on you, and uh, you said... <laughs> I believe before you asked, you pushed your chair back as far as possible. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a reality show. <laughs> now look, I, I'd like to believe you kids. I think you're a couple of swell kids and you, you, you've been through a traumatic experience. I mean, listen, cornstarch isn't, isn't easy. <laughs> let you go, but my buddy here... It, 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 You're both lying, see? I can see right through it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all nonsense. The game yeah, is full of beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it to you, Jason and Sarah, if that is your real names, then in fact the anthrax was sent by you! <laughs> and you! <laughs> and... And here's the twist. Me! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> saw that coming. Well, Ferguson, you're under arrest. But I didn't do it. You lying bastard. Get in those cells. You'll never take me alive, copper. Yeah, well, get out of here. Get out, everybody. <laughs> Sweater guys, been here many times before. Young lady was sitting in lesbian row, has a broken toe, wanted to talk about it on television. <laughs> Guy just showed up. <laughs> Don't know who he is. Who are you, sir? I'm Chaz. Oh, Chaz. Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> now, Chaz, when I brought these other people down to the show, to be on the show, you decided to come down too. Why? I also am the sweater guy. <laughs> He's with you? No. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you know who the sweater guys are? I don't know any of these people. Right. <laughs> All right, well, uh, look, it's a... Uh, <clears throat> where are you from? I'm from Chantilly, Virginia. I didn't understand any of that. Chantilly, Virginia. Chantilly, Virginia? Yeah. Are you here in vacation? Vacation. And you hurt your toe? And I hurt my toe. <laughs> And I almost stepped on it. Jay Chaz, look, you just let it go, all right? <laughs> Who's Chaz? <laughs> See, we've heightened security since the anthrax threat, so <laughs> now people can just wander up to the stage. If, they, if you feel like you want to be on television, I got a map trying to put anything together. <laughs> Come here and help your Rocky. self, apparently. <laughs> Now, uh, we're worried about you because you've got a sore toe, you broke it on a sprinkler. Well, yeah, but I was waiting in line for your show. Do I detect a threatening of a lawsuit? I still came. You know, thanks. And we've got a present for you. Hang on. Here. It's... You want that. You want that because we don't know where Chaz and the sweater guys have been. <laughs> and they may try and hug you. And you won't be able to run because your foot is injured. <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty rough show tonight, everyone. <laughs> Wait a minute, we've cut out one of the sweater guys. Two of the sweater guys if you don't have the high def television. Let's everybody bunch up a little bit. Uh, everybody, you go down at the front, uh, and then, swear to God, Chaz, you go there, because I want to know where you are. Uh, <laughs> and everybody else. And I'll go and stand off here with the skeleton robot. <laughs> we'll see you in a <laughs> Ladies, uh, please could you state your name for the folks at home? Hi, I'm Linda. Michelle. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm Nadine. <laughs> Where are you from, ladies? We are from Switzerland. Switzerland? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. A neutral country, they say. <laughs> neutral. You don't really take sides in anything. And yet! <laughs> 
love you. We're sitting in lesbian row. Which is the floor? Which would imply at least you have an opinion on something. <laughs> However, are you here on vacation? Yes, yes. we are. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your impressions of the United States so far? It's quite big. <laughs> it, it is quite big, yes. It's, it's large. And um, anything else you've noticed? It's foggy. <laughs> foggy? Yes. <laughs> Not all of it. San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco is indeed for... Oh, you were in San Francisco. You are, in fact, eligible to sit there. I see. <laughs> so, do you have uh, the late-night television shows in uh, Switzerland? No. No, not so. <laughs> Sounds like Shangri-La, really, doesn't it? <laughs> what do you girls do? Do you, uh, do you, you go to college? Yeah. University. Yeah. University. University. Yeah, it starts in September. It starts in September. So that would make you young. <laughs> Phew. I think I played this one rather well, Jeff, don't you? Easy, pal, careful. Yeah, no, no, no. No, I think it's all right. I haven't done anything remotely predatory or creepy. Maybe a little creepy, but I can't help that. It's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand what's going on here with the robot? <laughs> We're deconstructing the, you know, the traditions of late night. But you don't have a tradition of late night in Switzerland, so this is meaningless to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you frightened of the uh, skeleton at all? No. no. Nice. He yes. is very nice, actually. He's very nice. Well, I can see how you've managed to keep yourself out a couple of wars. <laughs> Can you say ooh la la? <laughs> I hope you can because these young ladies, please introduce yourself to the American audience. Uh, what's your name? Marine. 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 Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, ma Marine. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and uh, what's your name, young lady? Marine. Also. <laughs> I see. And uh, where are you from, ladies? France. France, you say? Yeah. And you also from France? Yeah. <laughs> Am I pissing you off? Not at all. All right. So, uh, do you know each other or is it just a coincidence you're both called Bahrain and you're from France? How we met here. You met here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you aware that you were sitting in lesbian row? <laughs> Je comprends. So, um, well, Marine and Marie. <laughs> Very recently, this show received a letter from France, which contained a white powder in it. <laughs> in the letter, the person that sent the white powder, the fake anthrax, I'm glad to say, <laughs> expressed an opinion about my work on television. <laughs> it wasn't that complimentary. Can you can understand? <laughs> I see. So, uh, what, are you, what are you doing in L.A. then, ladies? Um, I'm visiting. You're visiting? Yeah. And you are visiting also? Mm, no. No, you... You're here for singing. You're here for singing? Singer-songwriter. Oh. You're a singer-songwriter? Yeah. Really? Who are you? Hey, look, uh, the high-pitched nature of my voice is just part of my thing, all right? <laughs> I can't believe the... Ooh -la -la. ...branch, they come... <laughs> nah. But, no, quietly, this is not the way forward internationally. <laughs> are, you, are, are you any good? Do, do you want to be on the show? Did you bring yeah. a guitar with you? No, I didn't. Oh, is, is it a guitar you play? Yeah. Oh, see, that's going to get in the way then. <laughs> you should be I on the it. show. Do you have a visa? Yeah. I don't. May I borrow it? <laughs> you have a visa to perform? 
No. Then we should have mine on the show. <laughs> what? We can get, we can get. We'll get you on the show and you can sing. Yeah. yeah, will you sing one of your own songs? That would be cheaper for us. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, well, we'll do it then. This will be great. This will be, and people will go, this was when she first started. Mer Fink started on that very show. <laughs> this is great. Uh, do you not sing at all? You just visit people who sing? Yeah, uh, I dance. You dance? <laughs> uh. I need to go and watch a couple of commercials. Daddy's busy. <laughs> So here's, here's the thing. At the start of the show, uh, we met two charming young French girls, Marine and Marine. And, and one of the Marines is not a dancer. One of the Marines is a... Uh, you're not a Marine, are you? An actor? No. But you have a stage name, right? Yeah. Rookie. Yeah. Right. So, and you're going to sing as one of your songs? Sure. Yeah. And you agree now in front of the entire country it's you're not going to charge us any money for this? No. I mean... Then, please welcome Rookie, everybody, Rookie. name and occupation for the folks at home, would you? Uh, my name is Alex Merle, and I am a CBS page. Really? Well, for one more day. One more day? Is it your last day, in fact, Alex? It is, in fact. Yeah, well, we'll... Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait he hasn't finished it yet! Where are you going, Alex? Uh, it's still to be determined. <laughs> you know what that's code for? NBC! <laughs> Let me ask you, Alex. I don't think you're harboring any notions you're going to get to keep your jacket. <laughs> it's a fine jacket. I'll, uh, I'll be sad to part with it. Well, you know what? I got a surprise for you, Alex. Yeah? Yeah. You can keep it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> now, I know I'm not authorized to do that. <laughs> but I'd like to see that bastard try and stop me. <laughs> he don't care. Yeah? Yeah. So I say we're going to, like in a sports competition, you know, when a great player retires, we're going to retire your jacket, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how many years you been here? A uh, year and a half. That's a long time in the page game. <laughs> pages, pages usually burn out pretty, pretty young. You know, I mean, they're, there's like usually about, you know, 21, 22, they're gone. This is true. What age are you? I'm 26. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. I, I, I was 42 and I took this job. <laughs> you 
know, you just, you know, you do your thing. What are you going to do then? What do you want to do? Uh, not really sure. Maybe Drew Carey will hook me up with a job. <laughs> now, I think we might want to keep the jacket, Alex. <laughs> No, I know Drew Carey. I, I, can, uh, I can put a word in there. What do you want to do down there? Uh, I don't know. Price is right where they usually had me. So, uh, you know, working the Late Late Show is kind of a nice perk here and there, but uh, usually at Price. Is there a difference between the Price pages and the Late Late pages? Uh, is there a pay scale involved? <laughs> I think they pay a little better over at Price. He's getting to keep the Make it up. Jacket! <laughs> Good luck, Alex. Wish you all the best. Please state your name for the audience. Uh, Charity. Charity? Yeah. That's a lovely American name, Charity, isn't it? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm really Vegas, but my family's wait, from Wait, 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 wait! Wait a minute! No, my Charity from Russia! No, no! Oh, no, that's not what happened at all. I said, we were talking, I was talking to the audience, we were coming out, and you said you were from Russia. I was yeah. like, wow, well, we had the French girls on on the other night, and we thought, a Russian girl, this would be great, and you come up, and then you say your name's Charity. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> and then you're from Vegas, which is not remotely even in the former Soviet Union. No, but my family is. Your fa oh, your family is in yeah. Russia. Yeah. Wh which, uh, which parts of your family? <laughs> My dad's family. The dad's family. Mm -hmm. You're making me nervous. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you nervous, <laughs> yes. please. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for making you nervous. Wow, this makes you nervous. You spend a little time in Russia. <laughs> hey. 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 I'm just I'm a good-natured TV I'm American, you know. About my Russian people. <laughs> no, no, I, lo I love the Russian people. I I've been to Russia. Have you ever been? No. Look, look, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, Charity. Look, I kind of do this thing at the start of the show. I like to talk to people and, you know, and get to know them a little bit. I pretend I'm a lawyer. I kind of go, wah, da 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 that. Sometimes they light it, sometimes they don't. <laughs> but it all rests on, really, the honesty of the person I'm talking to. And right now, I'm feeling a little bit betrayed. Oh, no. <laughs> but my family's from Russia. You want to call them? Do I want to call your family? In Russia? Yeah. Sure. Can, do you have their number? Yeah. Do they speak English? Because I'll... Charity, when did you arrive here from Vegas? Um, how long, hun? Seven days ago. Wait, is that a Russian? That's... that's, that's... That's my baby's daddy. Your baby daddy? Yeah. Is my that, boyfriend. Is, is that a Russian word? <laughs> Privet, baby daddy. We're having a baby. So I, I, I... Yeah, we're pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Oh, I wouldn't have yelled at you if I'd known. I feel <laughs> terrible. I feel terrible. I'm sorry I didn't mean it. So you've, you've got a little... A little baby. Yeah, I know what they're called. What's <laughs> happening now? Well, I'm very excited for you. <laughs> I thought you were from Russia, you are from Vegas, yeah. No. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, does it? It's nice. I'm sorry. Nah, it's fine, okay. it's fine. You, you know, to be honest, I, I think the show is going to be a bit like that tonight. <laughs> nice name, though, Charity. Do you know Thank if you're having you. a boy or a girl yet? Not yet. Well, not in a couple weeks. Yeah, all right. Are you, are you thinking about Don't me? Don't you have a baby? I have two. Yeah, a little six months, seven. I got an eight month old and a ten year old, yeah. yeah. I'd love to yeah, keep chatting, but actually I've just remembered we're still on TV. So, uh, <laughs> uh, commercials. And then, uh, who knows what'll happen. Um, listen, before we begin tonight, I've got an announcement to make. Uh, apparently there's a lady in the studio audience wearing a hat. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, the authorities have been alerted, they're on their way, and the hat will be removed. <laughs> Why, do you, he said to me before I came out, he said, there's a lady in the audience wearing a hat. I'm like, I don't give a <laughs> so, uh, Wear a hat, don't wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
pretty much. Although we do have an audience member in a hat. <laughs> Great. Well, show everybody, we're with the big hat wearing spectacular, where many of us will be wearing hats this evening, although we won't be showing that on TV. <laughs> or maybe we will. Do you still have your hat on? No, oh, you don't. Go, let's have a shot at the lady in there. Oh, well. <laughs> See, now I've been mocking you for that, but that's a lovely hat, and you need it. I've, I feel bad. Um, the, this is Annie, everyone, and uh, she's wearing a hat. Um, <laughs> we've been rather making fun of that throughout the show, haven't we, Jeff? No, oh, I, I haven't, but, uh, but you have. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I was. And the, the reason is not what you think. It's because, um, because we, uh, the show is so badly lit that oft times when people wear hats, all we see is their mouth. And it makes me mad. Sometimes we have country artists on here, and we don't even know who they are. All we see is the hat. <laughs> that's, that's very true. People that will write true. in and say, who the hell was that on the yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, Toby Keith, when he's on here, all you can see is his muscles and his business, and that's it, right? I, I was fine with that. Yeah. There's not a lot of complaints. I'm just saying that's the way it is. Anyway, it's a lovely hat. Where did you Thank get you. it? Banana Republic. Oh, God. <laughs> Unbelievable. How pedestrian. Yeah, you, you can't say that on CBS, can you? I don't know. No. Could you say, uh, uh, no, yes. Well, it's a lovely hat. Thank you. <laughs> well, wh which town did you buy it in? Pennsylvania. <laughs> the hat capital of America. <laughs> did you uh, buy the hat to come to California with? No, just for fun. Thought I'd bring it along. I see you're independently wealthy then. You just yeah. buy hats on a whim. <laughs> what can I say? Well, a little hat buyer. <laughs> yeah, a little hat buyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're mocking you again. Sorry. Uh, okay. Well, uh, all's well that ends well, everyone. <laughs> So, like to uh, say your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home? Laura Larkin. Oh, Laura Larkin. Larkin. Oh, Larkin. I was going, I thought you said Larkin, and I said, <laughs> I think it's fairly obvious what you're a Larkin. <laughs> so, uh, Laura, you're, uh, you're expecting a baby then? Yes. Uh, when, 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 uh, when, when do you think? Uh, the 24th. Yeah, I, I think you'd be lucky if we make the second commercial break. <laughs> yeah. Your first baby? Yes. Uh, are you excited? Very excited. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It is. I, I got. I got two. I got. I got two boys, and and I've uh, a little boy. Uh, the youngest. He's eight and a half months. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. You know when the last time I slept was? Uh, eight, eight, eight and a half, half months, months ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're laughing now. So, uh, so that's nice. You, you got any idea of what, what, what you're going to be having? Or, uh, gonna have a boy. Gonna have a boy. Congratulations. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, names? Any ideas for names? Uh, Michaelis. Michaelis? Yes. That sounds good. Sounds like a TV detective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it does. It sounds great. I'm telling you that. Right, I'm very excited for you. So, soon. Soon. Very soon. Yeah. The, the, uh, your, your husband, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, here? Yes. He's sitting right up there. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, what's up? Oh, lad, yeah. <laughs> where, where are you from? Yeah, I'm from East Kilbride. East Kilbride, eh? Yeah. You know where that is, don't you? Yes, I've been there. Oh, you've been to East Kilbride? Yeah. And you still had sex with him? <laughs> ah. Man. <laughs> don't laugh too much. I'm serious. Don't. Uh, wait, luckily, you're in the right studio for her. Yeah. But, uh, are you all right? Yeah. I'm all right, all right. Uh, so, uh, East Kilbride, if you don't know, is a, is a suburb <laughs> of uh, Glasgow. It's, it's just outside Glasgow in Scotland, uh, and um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice town, isn't it? <laughs> it's a horrible town. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, did you like East Kilbride when you were there? I found it was very enchanting. Enchanting? <laughs> 
With the little houses. And the little, wait, what, are we talking about the same East Coast Ray? <laughs> it was fun. Where are you from originally? Orange County. Yeah, well, it's enchanting if you're from Orange County. <laughs> Well, there you are then, so you're going to have a little Scottish-American. Yes, I am. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> no, it's good. It's very exciting. We have to take a commercial break, which is a shame. I'm very much enjoying the idea of talking to you. But we've got a show, you know, celebrities and stuff. I know, I know. I know how it goes. Robot, you know. Love you. Love Jeff. You, you like Jeff, do you? I do. You can have him. Oh, really? Ah. <laughs> That's it, you're out of here, pal. <laughs> Jeff, Thank come on. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take a break, she's starting to laugh too much. We'll be right back. All right, I want you to take this off. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. Now, now stop doing Wilford Brimley because we've got this lovely young couple are expecting their first baby any time uh, in the next, uh, well, could be before the infomercial that follows our show is over. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, um, you've decided on a name. Yes. Yep. And the name is? Michaelis. Michaelis, that's right. So little baby Michaelis is going to want a Christmas card to go out this year. Do, do you celebrate Christmas? Oh, yes. yes. Oh. That's a relief. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, here's the thing. Um, yeah, what, what we thought we would offer is that Jeff and I, uh, if this is okay with you, Jeff, that we... Sure. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> that we, have you ever stood next to someone like this? You're from East Bride. You probably well. know a lot of people. <laughs> it's more Paisley, usually. Yeah, well, Paisley's another town in Scotland. If you were from Scotland, you'd have went, <laughs> See what he did! But... <laughs> You're not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, we'll do our Christmas card pose, and Jeff, if you would say something appropriate for, you know, baby Michaelis. Uh, oh. and, then we, and then we can send you a videotape, VHS videotape, <laughs> of the night you appeared on the show, little Michaelis, before Aww. you were born. Aww. Aww. Yay. <laughs> I imagine a kid about 20 years from now in a college dorm thinking, this is creepy. Tootsie Fruits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A little word for baby Michaelis and we'll wish you good night. Jeff, take it away. Careful, Michaelis. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home, young fella. I'm his Eddie. Your name's Eddie? Yep. What a surprise. <laughs> it can be. Eddie, there's a hairdressing sensation sweeping the nation made popular by a late night TV skeleton gay robot, isn't there? <laughs> well, they're trying to steal my look. Yeah, what? So, you, you, what you're uh, putting before the court is that Jeff actually stole your look. You did not steal Jeff's look. No. <laughs> maybe I also had too many cocktails, maybe. You, you had to... Are, are you a little... Are you a little... Uh, are, you, are you a little... A uh, person? <laughs> well, why I drink too much on the ground? No, really? <laughs> do you, do, do, have you had a lot to drink tonight? Oh, I wish. All yeah, right, I see. <laughs> yes, you have, Eddie. You see, this is not the show. This is, in fact, an intervention, Eddie. <laughs> no, please don't applaud. It's a Tootsie Fruits. Intervention. <laughs> you don't applaud an intervention. We're trying to help Eddie. We're trying to help Eddie accept that, you know, he's... Uh, what's going on with you, Eddie, man? <laughs> Where are you from, dude? I'm originally from Texas. Ah. <laughs> Yes, that is a woo. <laughs> which, which part of Texas? Um, Fort Worth. I've been there. Dallas, Fort Worth area. Yeah, I think someone sat down very quickly. You're from the Dallas, Fort Worth area? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get quiet for a moment. No, no, that's all right. It's good. I've been there. But Dallas and Fort Worth, two very different towns, Eddie. One is a uh, sort of uh, hip happening area where the kids wear their hair in unconventional styles. Oh. And the other one's a little more gay robot. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> well, actually, I think you should be thinking about it's kind of everywhere nowadays. <laughs> the whole crazy. <laughs> Everyone's trying to look like the gay robot look. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, you're, you know, you're looking you're like gay robots. You're looking like a tacky Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know if you're ready for your intervention yet. Eh? <laughs> Jeff, what do you think? You think Eddie stole your look? Call me Eddie. <laughs> We're right back, everybody. <laughs> Ladies, please state your name for the American viewing audience. My name is Sophia. Uh-huh. And Frida. Sophia and Frida. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where, where are you from, ladies? Uh, Sweden. Sweden! Sweden! Uh, do you realize which part of the audience you were sitting in? You were sitting in lesbian row. <laughs> are you familiar with the American term lesbian? Yeah. <laughs> this may be the greatest night of my life. What are you doing in, uh, in Los Angeles, ladies? Uh, are you on vacation? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Uh, from Sweden? Yeah. We're going on a road trip. You're going on a road trip? Yeah. Uh, where to? We don't know yet. Uh, do, you, do, you, do, do you have a, a car big enough for other passengers? Yeah. Because I've always enjoyed Sweden. <laughs> we shall. Which part of Sweden are you from? North. The north part of Sweden. That's my favorite part! <laughs> Have you ever been to, um, what's the name of the uh, big town there in the south? Um, uh, you know, the, um, the capital of Sweden. Stockholm. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> no, I've been, I've been there, I've been to Stockholm. There's, a, there's a, a place there called the Cafe Opera in Stockholm. You ever been there? Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's for celebrities. So it then. is for celebrities, but I go in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me ask you then, ladies. Who is your favorite Swedish celebrity? Um... Mine is Abba and Bjorn Bjorg. Yeah. 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 Abba's great. Abba, you like yeah. Abba? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love, I enjoy Abba. Mm. Do you speak much English? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you nervous? Oh, you must be nervous. This is this is kind of like you know, uh, uh, part of coming to America is you know you take a Greyhound bus, you go to Disneyland, you come on this show. It's just part of the experience. <laughs> this is a bit more Greyhound bus than Disneyland, but it's... <laughs> anyway, um, I I really hope you enjoy the show this evening. We have a real good Scandinavian lesbian fest coming up tonight. <laughs> we. We hadn't planned on one, but we are definitely going to have one. Thank you, ladies. Look, I'd like to apologize uh, to the people of Sweden. Uh, I didn't mean anything disparaging about your uh, lesbian community. Right, girls? Yeah. Right, okay. This is Frida and Sofia who are uh, visiting from Sweden, and you're going to drive across... Uh, the United States. Is there anywhere you would like to go we can set you up? <laughs> Vegas? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll set you up in Vegas. Where can we set them up in Vegas? Sure, yeah. Downtown. <laughs> That's where everybody wants to go. Have you heard of... <laughs> what are you going to do when you're in Vegas? We're going to win money. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to America, ladies! Boy, are we glad to see you! No, no. Have you ever been to Las Vegas before? I have. Yes. You have? Yeah. Did you win money? No. <laughs> no money, no husband. <laughs> <laughs> now look. Vegas might not be the place to go and look for a husband. <laughs> unless it's someone else's husband. <laughs> so is that what you were looking for in Vegas, a husband? No. Are you looking for a husband? No. What are you looking for, Vegas? Then just win money. That's it. Yeah. And and you want to <laughs> hang out with the players in the club? Yeah. <laughs> Jeff knows a lot about Vegas. You've been to Vegas a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, they, they we got married there. there. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. We, we did. We when we went to Vegas, we got married. I Means and real for real, we were married by an Elvis impersonator. That's legally binding in Vegas. 
But actually, when we arrived to uh, to Los Angeles, we got stopped by the police after 15 minutes. So we don't know if we're going to take it all the way to Vegas. We don't know yet, because we missed the stop sign. <laughs> I didn't get any of that. Did you get any of that? So you, you, were, you drove through a stop sign? Yeah. That's all right. It's LA. Nobody does. Who cares? It's like, uh, yeah. It's fine. What kind of car do you have? Is it a rental car? Yeah. Oh, all right. A white one. A white rental car? <laughs> they are so hard to get. <laughs> I think you guys will have a fantastic time. And then Vegas and then what? Heading east? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> no, South? just California. There's yeah, only one, there's only one way to solve this. Underwear pillow fight. <laughs> Then, then the winner, uh, well, you're going to just go drive around California? Yeah, we only have two weeks. Oh, San Francisco, you want to see that? It's a beautiful city. Yeah. Not like LA. LA's a dump. It's a dump. <laughs> but San Francisco is beautiful. They've got, uh, you find a husband in San Francisco. <laughs> maybe, maybe. You know, maybe you will. That, that'd, be a, that'd be a nice place to go. Have you ever been to San Francisco? No. Well, there you are then. <laughs> And then when you go back to Sweden, two weeks from now? Yeah, 19th. That'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Want to come? Go to Sweden? I would. I'd love to come. Unfortunately, I'm, uh, I'm not free to, uh, to leave this basement. <laughs> Legally, I'm stuck here for some time. <laughs> but, but I could send my skeleton. Yeah, you can come. Ooh, sex party. <laughs> so stereotypical about Sweden. It's not all sex parties and free love and awesome, attractive people, is it, Swedish girls? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we've started? <laughs> Alright, so please state your name for the folks at home. Alex Skimbody. Say that again. Alex Skimbody. Skimbody? <laughs> really? <laughs> what, what is that? Is that some kind of comedy name? Or, what, what, what is it? Is, is, skin, is it uh, French? Italian. Italian? Yeah. Oh, Skimbody. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so, um, are you a dancer? I'm an actor. Ah, actor. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what have you acted in then? Uh, just getting started? Just mm -hmm. getting started? Yeah. Do you go to the acting class? Yeah. So you, when you're in the acting class, do you, are there cute boys in your acting class and you practice scenes where you make out with each other and stuff? Yeah, yeah I went to them too. <laughs> Look, you know, it's good that you're getting out and making friends, but, um, <laughs> but you got to be careful. There's a lot of unscrupulous, rotten types in this town, and if you're not careful, you could end up hosting a crappy late-night talk show. <laughs> and I worry about you. Do you have an agent? I don't, no. Well, that's, that's good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just sit in Lesbian Row so you could be on the show? Sort of, kind of. <laughs> oh, I see. So you're using this show to forward your career? Is that right? <laughs> you know, why not? Good luck to you, I say. What kind of work are you after then? You want to, you wanna, in case, you know, in case someone who works in show business's cable is broken and they're watching this show? <laughs> An audition? What, would you have an audition piece ready? No. Oh, come on, you can do something. What about a bit of Shakespeare or something? Uh... All right, let's, let's pretend, right, we'll improv a scene. I'm your father, and okay. I've come home, and I've found you with your boyfriend, and you, you've been making out on the couch, and I'm furious. I've just sent him out, and now I'm coming back to deal with you. All right? Okay. All right. Okay. Stay there. <laughs> It's all right. I love you. Yeah. We'll be right back, everyone. 
Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I, I'd like you to uh, meet a friend of mine, a lovely young woman. Her name is Athena. Athena, do you know anybody who's in this studio at the moment? Maybe. Oh, who would be oh, the person that you would know, Athena? I think I might know her. What's, what's her name? I think it's Alex. Alex, really? Athena, and what's your relationship to Alex? Um, I gave birth to her. <laughs> She's your mom! trouble now, but not as much as you are, Jeff Peterson. Uh -oh. Do you know that? Now, did you bring Alex to Los Angeles, or are you from here? Uh, no, I'm actually visiting, and she's here. Oh, I see. Where are you from? From North Carolina, Raleigh. Raleigh? It's nearly at Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. Claire and I are friends. You're friends with yes. Claire Danes? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Does everybody in show business know each other? Of course. Oh! <laughs> I feel such a fool. I feel like I've been used, almost as if you put your daughter in lesbian row so she could get one in show business. <laughs> well, your plan backfired, Athena, because she was on this show instead. But... Are you okay with her being in show business? Yes. All right. Well, are you in show business yourself? No. What business are you in? I'm a homemaker. That's a great business to be in. One that you might want to consider. <laughs> Although, choose your partner wisely. <laughs> Someone who perhaps has a little more job security than your bony friend right now. <laughs> are you all right with the uh, type of men that she dates? Are you okay with that? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you out here to check up on anyone? Um, not at the moment. Yeah. Not that I don't know of, of anyone. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. I got, no, listen, I see that. I got kids. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I think all's well that ends well. Um, I wish you good luck. And uh, look, um, here's 50 bucks. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Craig Ferguson. This is my buddy Jeff Pearson. This is my buddy Jeff Pearson's girlfriend, Alex. Hey. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Jeff, I think uh, ma many uh, of us are surprised that you have a girlfriend, given the fact you've been openly gay for <laughs> since you've been dead. <laughs> Well, as I announced on the show yesterday, I am ACDC. I see. My currents go both ways. So, you, uh, how's it working out for you guys? Have you been uh, out on any dates or anything since last night's show? We have had a toward love affair. R really? Yes. Me and my man right here. He's not, he's not a man, though, Alex. He's, like, <laughs> he's a skeleton robot. I like him skinny. Well, you, like him, you like him skinny, dead, and gay, apparently. <laughs> that I do. <laughs> well, that's all right. Uh, 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 do you have any plans, then? Yeah, well, we're going out tonight, right? That's right. We're going to go out tonight, and you're not invited. Oh. Uh, I, I, I don't want to be invited anyway. I get something else to do. Something pretty awesome, actually. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He wants you to ask what it is. Oh, okay. What is that? <laughs> I ask him. I ask him. It's nothing. He has no answer. I no. do. I do have an answer. I do. I, I'm getting a smoke check done in my car. Oh. That's important. That, that, is that is important, Alex, for the environment. You've got to have smoke checks done and, you know, so that... I got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> He's out of steam. He's got nothing. So where are you going to go on your date tonight, then? Uh, any more than 12 foot from an outlet? <laughs> how dare you? Oh, no, how dare you, sir? How dare you pick a young lady from lesbian role and make her your girlfriend using your show business power to impress an impressionable young beautiful actress from out of town? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Actually, it's the only reason you get into show business, I admit. But still! So... There you are, then. You don't, you don't fancy someone your own species? I've tried that. Didn't work out as well. <laughs> is your mom here tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is. What does your mom feel about you dating a notorious show business robot? Why do you think she came out here? Well, she had right. to check up on me. All right. 
Well, I guess it's good. I, I, I don't want you to be here during the monologue. That's kind of a thing Jeff and I do. Oh, okay. So You're exclusive. <laughs> I, I can dig that. That's fine. Dig? Is that what the young people are saying now? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's... I got a back. Groovy, Alex. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> so, this is your mom, mm -hmm. Alex. Yes. Your mom, Athena. It's a lovely name, Athena. Have you met your daughter's boyfriend? Yes, I have. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you, you're cool with this? Whatever she wants to do is fine. What kind of parent are you? You didn't tell me that yesterday. Well, I got over it. <laughs> All right, well, this is, uh, this is fine. <laughs> Okay, we better do the Christmas card then. Everybody bunch in. <laughs> All right. Well, well, I'm nearly ready. <laughs> Ladies, please state your name for the folks at home. I'm Frida. I'm Sophia. Mm. Sounds Swedish to me. <laughs> Are you Swedish, ladies? Yes. Yeah. I think I knew that. You were on the show before, weren't you? You sat in Lesbian Row, didn't you, ladies? <laughs> yes. And you were sitting in Lesbian Row again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but the last time you were here, we, we, you said you were going to Las Vegas, and then when you went to Las Vegas, we said, we know people at the Red Rocks Inn, and they'll, they'll put you up for nothing. Did they put you up for nothing? Yeah. yeah. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> um, everything happened. <laughs> Come on! What kind of fun could two hot Swedish lesbians have in a town like Las Vegas, for God's sake? You know oh, what? yeah, I can think. <laughs> Winning money. You won money? Getting married. You got married? Oh, yeah. No, not the two of us. I got no. married to Dave or Stu or what? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not lesbians. No. <laughs> Sorry. Are you sweet? No, no, it's fine, actually. Uh, are you Swedish? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's half the battle right there. <laughs> Did you really go to Las Vegas? Did you bring a clip? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's our leprechaun they were with there in Vegas. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> so you had a good time then? I saw you were smoking a cigar when you were there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we actually met like a millionaire who gave us oh, very sure you much. Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, what, did the, what did the millionaire give you? He, he was the guy who gave us the cigar. Oh, that <laughs> proves yeah. he's a millionaire if he's got a cigar. <laughs> And he also gave us much to play with, and he said, if we win, uh, we split it on half, and then we sit there and play and play and play and play, and then we lose everything. <laughs> and then he gave us a cigar, and then yeah, we left. Yeah, then we left. Sounds like a millionaire, all right. <laughs> ah, they're getting rarer and rarer these days. You're very lucky to sight one in his natural habitat. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had a good time. When did you go back to uh, Sweden? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday? Well, America will seem a little dowdier without you, ladies. <laughs> Can we keep them? <laughs> Can we? <laughs> My wife's on the phone. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll oh, yeah. <laughs> Matt, you've got something to say, haven't you? You'd like to apologise, wouldn't you? You'd yeah. like to apologise for taking the $50? I would. I didn't think I was deserving. I got the question wrong and then I ran off and I was going to invest it in... Pork bellies. Pork bellies. <laughs> what happened, Matt? Well, guilt got the better of me and I thought that I've got to give it back to someone who deserves it. Oh, like Swedish lesbians, perhaps? The lesbian community at large. 
not all of them. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I'd say divide it evenly amongst as many lesbians as possible, if you can. All right, then. Well, you better give them the money. Look at that. Well done, everybody. Hey! Take that back to Sweden and get yourself some furniture. Good night, everybody. Good night. So, Alex, you're back. I'm back. <laughs> Alex, the girl that sat in lesbian row because she's an actress and wanted to be noticed, I put her on TV like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> then you were on two nights. And then I heard that you had applied to the internship program here. I did, yeah. You're an ambitious little spud, aren't you? <laughs> well, Alex, I've got news for you. Mm -hmm. You got the position. I did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Alex? That's great. Alex, mm -hmm. it, it's an unpaid position. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that you got it was nothing to do with me. <laughs> I have no power around here. But many of our interns go on to great things. Case in point, the wonderful Bridger. Come forth, Bridger. Come on forth. Bridger, this is Alex. Alex, this is Bridger. Hi, nice to meet you. This is awesome. It's like a show where you get to meet new friends. <laughs> well, you know, Bridger uh, used to be an intern here. Okay. Yeah, but now Bridger is a production assistant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bridger! Bridger, can you tell young Alex here what her duties will be as an intern? Um, help me clean up the catering. <laughs> and what's the, uh, what are the duties of the production assistant? Um, get the catering. <laughs> you're moving up in the room. <laughs> but Bridger, you're the big man on campus here. I want you, I want you, you're about the right age with Alex. You guys are the same height, similar colouring. I, uh, <laughs> I'd like you, I'd like you to show her around and show the ropes, you know, and, uh, and uh, no funny business. <laughs> setting you up, man. <laughs> Do you hear me? Uh, this is nothing. You don't worry about no, this. No, I'm not paying attention. No, there's, uh, you know, don't. I mean, I don't want any of that uh, jiggery-pokery going on here. <laughs> <laughs> now, you kids be fine, and uh, you get her home by living. She's like a daughter to me. <laughs> and, and you, careful for him, he's a wild man. <laughs> Right, now you kids, off you go and start doing things with catering or whatever you do, and, <laughs> and you, keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> and you, keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Alex and Bridger, everybody, there you go. <laughs> well, Jeff, they got the new it couple for America right here. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Whatever. Didn't think it was possible, but you're actually thinner than I am. What the hell, man? Hey, that what was the my hell? girl, man. That was my girl. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's right. <laughs> yeah, kind of, I completely... kind of a minor plot point. <laughs> I completely forgot that you guys used to go out for an episode. I... <laughs> um, well, you know, uh, Alex has moved on. Maybe you should. That looks like you like a little ginger in your coffee there, Alex. <laughs> Guess if you're into dudes that look like Opie. This is like a reality show with freaks. Because <laughs> oh, there's no freaks on any other reality show. <laughs> I'm saying the opposite of what's true. Your hand just moved, which is weird because this is the one that doesn't move. Must just be a spasm. <laughs> I'm, pl I'm plugged in, I can go longer. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Say good night, kids. My tambourine and your email. Hey. Ooh, ooh. hey, I can't help but noticing that uh, Lesbian Row tonight uh, seemed to particularly enjoy the monkey in my pants during that. <laughs> What do you like? What's up, lesbians? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you...
<laughs> the entire lesbian row is right here. Uh, well, uh, ladies, where are you from? Australia. Australia! Where the lesbians go around a different way. <laughs> Please state your names when I touch you on the shoulder. Georgie. Maddie. Heather. Kat. Hmm, these sound like Australian names. <laughs> Which part of Australia are you from, ladies? Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne. Melbourne, eh? Yeah. Now, in Melbourne, <coughs> do the lesbians of Melbourne have their own row? Not at all. We We're have our own state. Don't talk over each other! <laughs> Before we started, Michael said, there's four people there, don't get them talking over each other. I was like, oh, Michael, shut the... Groggy! Oh. <laughs> anyway, they talked over each other, and now everyone's going to hate Australia. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> Ladies, do the lesbians of Melbourne have their own row? No. I see. <laughs> How long have you been persecuted? The whole country or just us? <laughs> right. I see. One begins to separate from the herd. <laughs> Right then. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> what are you doing in America? I came for a visit. A visit? We went to the Halloween party at Disneyland. I see. <laughs> <laughs> were you in a gang? Yes. We were, yes. How many of you? Seven. Seven, Seven yeah. Where's the other three? They couldn't get tickets. They wouldn't fit in the row. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Craig, you're being outsmarted by adorable Australian lesbians. <laughs> it's true, I am. And I've never had so much fun in my life. <laughs> Ladies, welcome to the United States of America, where you will be made welcome and treated with great amount of respect and given your own role. Except you. <laughs> Can we keep her, though? What? Can we keep her, though? What? Keep, keep what? The one you brought? Yeah. <laughs> or keep the row? You know her. We can't afford chairs. <laughs> we can't afford to give away chairs. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> Your microphone just touched me in an intimate <laughs> way. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if they really are lesbians. <laughs> What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Jeff, we can't waste any time. We're uh, two and a half minutes over already tonight. <laughs> all right, all right. Whoa, whoa, how, how, easy. <laughs> Please state your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home. Sharon. Sharon what? White. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought it was Sharon what. <laughs> <laughs> and then we laugh. Sharon White. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Sharon? North Carolina. North Carolina? That's one of my favorite Carolinas. <laughs> what are you doing in Los Angeles, California? Vacationing. Really? Having a nice time? Oh, much. <laughs> Seen any celebrities? Mm, maybe. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm seeing one now. No! No, no, what do you mean by maybe? I mean, you see some a celebrity and you weren't sure if it was a celebrity or you thought you saw a celebrity but you realised you were on the, in the, uh, you were drunk? The last one. Oh, really? <laughs> but where have you been? Have you seen the sights? Oh, yes. What, have you seen the Hollywood sign? Mm-hmm. Very disappointing, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Uh, Hollywood Boulevard? Yes. Horrible and tacky, isn't it? Oh, it was fun. Oh, you liked it? <laughs> oh, what else, where else have you been? Oh, we've been to Malibu. And Malibu? We've been to Paramount um, Farm or... Paramount Farm? Ranch. 
Ranch. Paramount Ranch. <laughs> what kind of animals did you see at Paramount Ranch? They, they don't have any animals. They're movie stars. They think they're people. No. They just had droppings from animals. Droppings from animals? Mm -hmm. That's what you see when you go to the studios, your droppings from movie stars. <laughs> So, all in all, what do you think, on a scale of 1 to 10, as a vacation destination, what do you think of Los Angeles? Mm, I think it's probably a 9. 9? <laughs> Where do you come from, in North Carolina? A little bitty town. A little bitty town? Mm hmm What's it called? Lenore. Lenore? Mm hmm Like in the poem? Like in... Yeah, the raven. Lenore. It's not spelled the same way. Ah. It's French. It's French? Mm hmm the French have occupied North Carolina? <laughs> Why didn't we know about this? It was, it was after a general, a General Lenore. Oh, General Lenore. Mm -hmm. French general? It must have been. Mm. <laughs> I kind of get a feeling I'm keeping you from something. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. That? That's... <laughs> Is look at the clips on there. <laughs> Stick to the script, Jennifer. <laughs> the, no, you, you here. That's for you. Put it on your pocket or something, okay, right? And then yeah. you got the wire on. Okay. And then I walk up and down. I pretend like I'm, you know, a lawyer or something. <laughs> I thought you said you'd seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes. All right. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> Where are you from, Jennifer? Crescent City, California. Crescent City? Yes. I've never heard of that. Where is it? 30 minutes to the Oregon border on the coast. Oh, so way up there. Yes. Way up there. And that's 30 minutes by foot. <laughs> driving. 30 minutes by driving. Yes. I see. You're not a scientist, are you? <laughs> Jennifer, you came, you've come a long way to see... The, I, I presume you're here to see the show. Are you any other reason to be in Los Angeles? Disneyland. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you, like, if you like entertainment, I suppose. <laughs> so, anyone with you, Jennifer? Anyone here with you? My husband. Oh, your husband. Where is he? He's in the vehicle. He's in the vehicle? <laughs> I mean the vehicle. Are you a law enforcement officer? <laughs> He gets embarrassed by me because I laugh a lot at your show and he didn't want to be embarrassed by sitting next to me. So that's why he didn't want to come. Wait, wait. <laughs> your husband is waiting outside in the Tootsie Fruits. Huh? you go shopping for groceries, you and your husband? Do you, do you both go into the supermarket or does someone wait in the car? Usually I just go, he stays home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the name of this uh, gentleman you're married to? Jesse. Jesse? Yes. Second name? His last name? Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Crescent City, Oregon. Crescent City, California. Oh, right, yeah, near Oregon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have a, uh, an email or a, <laughs> an, e an email or, or a Twitter account, or maybe the folk, folks could send him a bit of hate mail? I could give you a cell phone. Oh yeah, go ahead then. <laughs> not a God, don't get your panties in a bunch. She knows not to do it. <laughs> I would do it though. I would. I would totally do it. So are you going to tell him you were on the show? Don't tell him. Don't tell him <laughs> so that when watch. he watches the show today, I can say, Jesse, what's that coming to go? Lady in the red cardigan. <laughs> Please state your name. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Mary Kay. Mary Kay. And uh, what do you do, Mary Kay? I work for Children's Hospital of Orange County. Uh, I see. Wait, you don't know if she's a good person yet. <laughs> Where are you from, Mary Kay? Anaheim. I see. Do you own a car? Yes, I do. Good. <laughs> so you didn't walk here from Anaheim? No, I drove. Anaheim's where Disneyland is. Yes, it is. I'm Have you ever seen any of the Disney characters with their heads off? 
I don't know that I could say that in public. <laughs> Jeff, did you hear what she did? Yes, I did. Yeah. Why, Mary Kay, I think you may be mistaking us for people who enjoy smutty humor. Because <laughs> that kind of nonsense and innuendo is not welcome here, correct, Jeff? That's correct. <laughs> Maybe down in Anaheim in the big city down there, uh, <laughs> you folks do your dirty jokes. Do you, did you take the 405 coming here? No. Right, that was smart. Yeah. yeah. That's a terrible freeway, that 405, isn't five it? Five to the ten. Five to the ten, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to uh, Disneyland, did you go there a lot? No. <laughs> Where do you go in your spare time, Mary Kay? It's another thing I can't say. No, well, that's... <laughs> what the hell? I spend a lot of time with my family. You I spend go, a lot of time with your family? I go to concerts. You go to concerts? Go to movies, yes. You go to concerts and movies? That's yeah. fair. And what kind of music do you like? Uh, rock and roll, classic rock and roll, country music, the blues, Country jazz. music. Do you, do, you like the, uh, do you like the tall country western? Country, no, you can't say country western now, can you? No. People get so angry. <laughs> well, I can eat country western in this country. Do you like the big, tall country singers? Oh, yeah. We got one on the show tonight. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> so, sweater guys. Every year, right about this time, you guys show up just like Santa's sack. <laughs> Dress in your little outfits, and you turn up at the show. Would that or would that not be true? Yes. True. You sit in the audience. Yes. But you usually wear the same thing, but you're not wearing the same thing. He's got a cool onesie thing, you're just like, ah, I'll put a cardigan on, it'll be fine. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're, not, you're not that cool, okay. man. You're right. That's cool. Like, yep. when you guys go out later, he's getting the action. Because <laughs> the ladies love a onesie. <laughs> Have you got that back door thing going on? No, you haven't. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, what are the plans for this Christmas? <laughs> ah! <laughs> just as I thought, just like, just like amateurs, Jeff. You know what I mean? It's they think, this will be funny, we'll put on an outfit. Have we got to say, oh, it won't matter? Yes, it matters. <laughs> Do you think I'd get by just having my tie like this? <laughs> Don't touch that. <laughs> now you set off a chain reaction which will be impossible to stop. <laughs> What do you think, Jeff? You want to hang out with the guys later? Touch my next. Touch my next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't, easy, Don't point Santa. your finger out, man. <laughs> You'll set him off. So that's it, then. Set him off what? You'll put him off guys. <laughs> like that. Uh. <laughs> so, gentlemen, thank you for showing up once again at Christmas time and reminding us all some people are dumber than others. 